Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna do something a little bit out of the ordinary and I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, live bootable flash drive for let's say any kind of Linux OS but uh, in my case the Fedora KDE Plasma desktop. The reason I'm doing this video is because I've been getting into um, ethical hacking, uh, white hat stuff in general, ju just ed for educational purposes and for my degree plan itself in college. So um, to get started, the reason why I'm making this video is because I was, as I said, trying to get a Fedora KDE Plasma desktop on one of my older desktops or PCs. I was trying to install it um, so I can later get VirtualBox or VMware and uh, get the Kali Linux version installed on that. So I was hit with a problem. I never did this before, so I was like, well, how the hell am I going to make a bootable flash drive? You know, an amateur like me, um, that was a big accomplishment. And I want to show you guys how to do that yourself because uh, I had to do a lot of reading. So if you can watch the short video, I'll actually show you how to do it yourself. So as you can see, um, I got my actual hard drive, my external hard drive. And then I got this flash drive that I got off of Amazon, which was about seven bucks. It's got 29 gigabytes. It's way more than we need because the um, actual size of the Fedora KDE Plasma desktop is about 1.3 gigabytes. So you can get something smaller, but the way today's technology goes, um, you can get fairly large flash drives that you can use for something later on after you make it a bootable flash drive um, and let's say install the Fedora OS uh, on your desktop. And I'm going to go through everything. So you got your flash drive, you got it plugged into the USB slot on your computer. Um, it's completely empty. Please don't put anything on this flash drive that you're actually trying to use later on because it's going to completely wipe the flash drive in the process. So first on, you're going to go to HTTPS, blah, 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 getfedora.org. Uh, this link right here, it's gonna, this link is going to go to the workstation download, which is going to download the Fedora Media Writer for Windows. Um, you can see up here, we got the Fedora Media Writer already installed. So you would click on that, uh, you know, go through the process and install it. As you can see right here, it says a USB flash drive with at least 1.5 gigabyte space available. Fedora Media Writer, which you'll be downloading with this link. The my bad. The link up here is a step-by-step uh, description or guide on how to actually do everything that I'm trying to show you now. But uh, you know, for the purposes of this video, we're not gonna go through this because I've already done this. I've installed Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop on my older desktop. Um, just as a side note, that older computer had a massive amount of viruses on there. It was just stuck in the whole. Uh, you know, preparing repair for Windows, uh, trying to find a fix, etc., etc. It would never even boot up into Windows or the welcoming screen. So, uh, it was an old Alienware, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to make this my workstation. It's not perfect. Uh, I would have preferred a laptop, but I have a wireless card, and that's completely off topic. Anyways, so, after you download the Fedora 20, well, the Fedora Media Writer, you're going to click on Fedora Media Writer yes so this is gonna pop up um, so display additional options so you can get the Fedora server you can get a custom image of any kind of um, you know let's say Fedora Linux uh, OS that you want to install you got the Fedora workstation for the purposes of this video we're gonna go to the uh, KDE Fedora Spins, Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop, a complete modern desktop built using the KDE Plasma Desktop. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to click on this, you're going to click on Create Live USB, uh, you got like a little thing explaining what all this is, how it's going to look like in the future. So, it's a, uh, also, please make sure that if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit system, that's very important. If you have a Mac, that's also very important because this is only for Windows. Um, so I think I went over all the little stuff. So we'll go to Create Live USB. And what's going to happen now is do not, if you have an external hard drive with a lot of important stuff, do not select that. 
it's going to completely wipe it and you're going to be really pissed. In my case, it's going to delete all my games on Steam, all my code, everything. So you're going to click on mine, for example, the SanDisk Cruiser Blade 31.4 gigabyte. What's happening now is <clears throat> you selected Fedora, KDE, Plasma Desktop. It's going to download it. Now, just to be sure that you're using the right flash drive, uh, even if you selected it or the, the right hard drive, whatever you're trying to use, um, you can unselect this or you can select this. In my case, uh, when I did this yesterday, I clicked on the write the image immediately when the download is finished. It's pretty much going to burn the image of Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop onto this flash drive. Now, once this download is done, if you haven't checked this box, you will just click on write to disk and it's going to write it on this flash drive and it's going to tell you, boom, you now have a live bootable flash drive done. So we're not going to do this. Now, for further instructions, what's going to happen is you're going to unplug this from the computer um, you were just on, for example, mine right here, the Win Windows 10, etc. You're going to unplug it, you're going to take it, and let's say you want to boot it on your laptop or you want to boot it on a different desktop that you designated for this task. You're then going to, again, unplug this take it. I wish I could show you some nice video of how I'm unplugging this, but that's not going to happen. Um, you're going to walk over to your laptop, or if it's next to your desktop, you're going to plug it in, and then when you start up your computer, it's going to be different with every computer. In my case, with the Alienware, it's it was the Dell. It was F12. You're going to instantly hit F12, and you're going to get into the BIOS and boot, op boot option settings, and it's going to prompt you to either way boot from the UEFI, um, and it should also recognize your flash drive. So in my case, it was it gave me the option to actually boot from SanDisk Cruiser Blade. What's going to happen is your computer is going to boot from this flash drive and it's going to run some background tasks, uh, just the boot up process, and it's going to boot into the Fedora KDE Plasma desktop. So most likely, the way you set it up, you're going to be prompted to encrypt your hard drive. Uh, you can actually set up a password before the actual welcoming screen password, before the, the account password, which uh, I would suggest you do, but don't forget it, otherwise you will not be able to log in again uh, without some headache. So um, I wish I could walk you through the installation, but it's very simple. It's like installing any other OS. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, one, once you get in, um, it's, it's going to prompt you into the screen and up in this, so, by the way, my bad, so, once you boot up from the flash drive, you have not installed it yet, so if you just want to use it from the flash drive, that's fine, you can just use it. If you actually want to install Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop on that computer or laptop, then on the top left corner, there's just going to be one file or uh, application, and it's going to say, install Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop. You're going to double click that. What's going to happen is you're installing that this OS on your computer and it's going to wipe everything on your computer. Almost like pretty much factory condition. So if you're doing this on a computer or laptop that you want to use again and you have important stuff then either way back that up on an external hard drive or do not even double click on that icon and install the OS. But if you do want to install it on your laptop or computer, click it, and then it's going to prompt you through all the installing procedures and installing the new OS. Um, in the end, it's going to prompt you to reboot your computer. You're going to reboot your computer, and voila, you now have the uh, Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop installed on your computer or laptop. Uh, I hope this video helped. I hope it was not too long. I hope I didn't get off track or talk too much. I just... I really wanted to show you how to create a bootable flash drive and how to install either way KDE Plasma Desktop or just boot it up from your flash drive and work on it like that. Um, just again as a review, you got the Fedora Meteor Rider which is used to create the live USB which is later on bootable. This is how the uh, Fedora Plasma uh, KDE Plasma Desktop is actually going to look like once you install it or just run it from your uh, USB stick.
this right here is again it's the link to install the media writer which you need to create a live USB and this right here is the quick start guide on how to create the bootable flash drive now to the very end so what's gonna happen is it's still showing up because I have not uh, written the OS on, on this disk or the flash drive once you do that it's either way gonna show up as um, some maybe 20 kilobits maybe one gigabyte in size maybe even smaller that's normal or it might not show up at all in my case the second I made this a live USB it did not even show up in my devices and drives even though it was plugged in so after you do all that I explained just now and let's say you want to restore this flash drive to a factory condition and make it usable again for other stuff you're gonna plug it back into um, let's say this computer right here in which you have the Fedora Media Writer installed. You're gonna click on this again with this plugged in. You're not gonna see it because it's still a live USB. And then up here, it's gonna tell you, it's gonna prompt a message that says you have uh, plugged in so and so USB or flash drive, um, which already has a live version of a Fedora OS on it. Would you like to restore it? You just click on restore. It's going to prompt you with a message here. It's going to say it's going to delete everything on that flash drive and restore it to factory condition. You click on yes. It takes like 30 seconds, depending on what kind of uh, computer you're running on. Uh, how You know how strong your computer is. Um, you're going to exit out, and it's going to show back up as your completely empty new flash drive. Um, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please uh, write it in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, like. And also, if I did help you create a bootable flash drive and I helped you in pursuing something that you would like, just leave a comment and a like. Thank you.